Are you the one who is struggling to clear your ACCA's well exam? I've given this exam various times and I've not been able to clear it. Or the one who is giving this exam for the first time and want to crack that there and then? If yes, then this video belongs to you. Before we really move in further, please subscribe to our channel Fintram Global and press the bell icon for keep getting these informative videos and the related updates. For the folks who are seeing me for the first time, let me introduce myself. My name is Pankaj Chingra and I am a proud Fintrammer and the global faculty for strategic business leader exam helping students across the world clear this exam. If you really read through the latest examiner report for the ACBL exam, and of course the past examiner reports that have been issued, you would get to understand that there are some peculiar, peculiar reasons which are not letting student clear this exam. Examiner continuously highlight those issues in these examiner reports, but we as student, we miss it. And that is the reason we are not able to achieve the magical figure of 50. That was all the more reason, my friend, for me to be here and bring out these issues to highlight to you so that we can just get over with it. Shall we show you what all are those mistakes? Yes, sir. Alrighty. The first important issue which most of the students really struggle in this exam is the time management. The students are not able to do good with their time in terms of time to read the question, time to write the question, giving due emphasis to all of the parts that are required to be answered in this question, effectively not able to manage that four hours of time that is available to finish this exam. This is a big time problem, my friend, which many of the students really face in this exam. The second problem that we have in this exam is with the reading and the writing skills. This is not an erstwhile traditional exam, my friend, wherein you would get to read the question and then start answering that. This is a very peculiar exam, wherein it would give you a case study with various exhibits that you really need to read through, relate the exhibits with the requirements and so on and so forth. And you have to answer that there and then. Having the excellent reading skills and of course writing skills in terms of correlating the exhibit to the requirement, requirement to the exhibit is super important thing which at times students miss on and that is why the reading and writing skills is being highlighted in the various various examiner reports that student really has to pick it up. The third mistake that happens in this exam is the rote learning. This is not the exam my friend wherein you would do the rote learning and will just go and write it there. You have to have to apply the theory over there. You have to have the application skill for the models to be implemented there. This is being highlighted in every examiner report that many of the times examiner is not able to understand how a student is really applying that model onto that question, onto that requirement, onto that exhibit. And that is where application of model is the super important thing that one would really need to understand from the standpoint of clearing this exam and coming up with the flying flying colors. Fourth mistake that student does is with the formats in this exam. Strategic business leader is an exam wherein the examiner wants you to be prepared for the corporate world. That is the reason my friend, the question, the case study, the exhibits that make, they may give you would be in the various formats that they want you to understand. At the same time, you have to reply back, answer all those questions in a respective, respective format. You may have to write an email, you may have to prepare a presentation, you may have to give a memo, you may have to prepare a letter, you may have to give a press release and what not. That is the reason my friend, format are of super importance there and many of the time students, they do not know those format or they have not learned in terms of you know what really needs to be done over there and they do a mistake over there. That is the reason format is a big time mistake which is being specifically called out in various examiner reports. Fifth mistake is with the professional skills in this exam. This exam specifically very different from the all other exams in the ACCA. In this exam you only have to write for 80 marks the 20 marks are to be given the way you write this exam. 
there are five professional skills my friend which we have gone in detail in our sessions that one would really need to understand and display in terms of how you really write this exam student at times they miss on those specific professional skills that are being required as a part of requirement of the question they miss on that they do not demonstrate that they are not able to showcase the examiner that they understand that professional skill and that professional skill needs to be come up in the answer in a particular way you miss it and you have pay for it that is the reason my friend you knowing the professional skills and of course applying the professional skills on to the answers is the super super important thing the sixth and the last mistake is with the computer based exam this is a computer based exam my friend and you have to write the whole whole subjective exam in a computer based environment which many of us are not used to handling such a vast or a big time question paper in a computer based environment and of course slipping through from one page to the other from one exhibit to the other correlating that to the question answering the question in the word format answering the question in the excel format preparing the presentation in the computer based exam at times is a problem for the student and student really struggles with that this is a big time issue in the exam these all are the six issues my friend that are there in this exam which most of the examiner reports really talk on and of course basis the feedback that i've had with various students who have given this exam cleared this exam and from the one who have not cleared this exam sir we understand that sir sir we understand these issues now sir now what and how can you help us sir can fintram really help us in terms of really coming up to the curve in all of these areas yes my friend absolutely yes and that is the reason i'm here we have incorporated anything and everything on this area in our sessions we cover all of that my friend from the standpoint of covering from the start from the scratch to the top what you really need from the standpoint of being prepared for handling this exam in the best possible way all the fin trammers who have taken the sessions from us would really understand and appreciate the same in terms of how have we included all of this in the sessions in the revision boot camp in the marathon and what not but i also have a good news for all other students too who have started themselves or taken or have taken sessions from anybody else now you have a opportunity my friend opportunity to join our five week live workshop on the strategic business leader exam yes my friend it is five week live workshop that covers the anything and everything you may need for this exam this workshop has been helpful to the many students my friend across the globe in terms of helping them and that is one of the reason i can proudly say that we have been able to contribute to the success of so many folks around the world that this time our result was more than 75% in strategic business leader exam this workshop essentially covers some very important areas and of course since this is a live workshop you would interact and of course understand many of the nuances that you really need to address in this exam this workshop essentially covers the fast track revision of the entire strategic business leader exam that would be given to you for you to really see as and when you need and then you would also be doing the question practicing pool my friend that would include the concept questions the comprehensive questions and also the past examination questions we would also give you my friend the live weekend trainings on some specific issues that we really need to address in terms of you know covering up and really really i would say capitalizing on what you have already built on we would also be giving you two mock exams in this with the detailed performance review my friend and this is the pillar that you really need to build on the more you will do well in these mock exam in terms of you handling that from the standpoint of reading writing ensuring your time management that really helps you in the exam like it has done with the other students and in the end we would also have the live q and a happening in all of these sessions my friend on the ongoing basis and while we do that 
one thing that we have categorically concerned and of course taken into consideration from the standpoint of this workshop is the examiner reports the technical articles and the computer based exam training that is there for you for you to be best prepared for your exam isn't that a great opportunity yes sir so why to wait my friend if you really want to join this workshop details are really provided over here just go and click it up you have the link in the description box below just block your seat we do have some limited seats available just block your seats and get going i see you there my friend in the workshop but i can tell you one thing only the serious students are needed in it you really need to demonstrate the seriousness for the five weeks to change your fortune i'll see you there my friend till then this punkashinga signing off mm -hmm.